back to another video. Today, guys, we'll be working on the fly fishing mirror badge. And one of the parts about it is learning how to take a hook if it may went into your hand, your arm, or your cheek. If it went into your cheek, you might want to go to the doctors because you'll probably get a good scar and let them take it out. But let's say you get it in your finger. I'm going to show you how to take it out if it's just a little bit in it or if it's all the way in it. So I'm going to be showing you on how to remove it. So guys, now we'll be talking just about the hook. So, you may have seen a hook. It's it's the end part of the fishing rod where you put bait on it, which ultimately catches the fish. And so you may see, you may wonder why the fish is never able to escape. Well, there's a little metal bar called the barb right next to the shark part. And that it's a, basically a line of metal that once it's stuck in there, it's unable to pull out. So guys, now we have our hook and we have a piece of chicken representing our arm. So it's, your, it's a normal day, you're going fishing out with your friends and you're just casting it back and forth and uh-oh, your hook goes straight into your arm. Now, since it has its barb, it's really hard to remove it. So if you're gonna, if you're just trying to remove it, you're gonna tear, it's, you're gonna mess up your entire skin. When you're trying to pull it out, the barb's really gonna hurt and it's just gonna tear up your skin and it's gonna bleed everywhere and you're gonna probably end up in the hospital. So this is your scenario. You got a hook jabbed into your skin and you're unable to pull it out. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. So first you're gonna need about two to three feet of fishing line. All right, this should be good. And we're gonna cut. All So now what we have to do is we take our three to two feet of lining and we're just going to kind of take the hook just a little bit up and we're going to send our fly fishing line under it. Then we're going to kind of put it in a hole and this is where we're going to tie it. So now, as you can see, I'm just trying to pull it out, but since that barb, it's keeping it into the chicken. So now what you want to do is you want to put your lining on the ground. Then you want to press the end piece to the thing. And then all you want to do is you just want to yank it. So you put it on the ground and then you just yank it. And see, the hook came out just like that. And I push the end towards here and I just yank it. See, and it came out. So now the next one, this one went a lot deeper into your skin and at the very end, the barb is exposed. So now I'm gonna be using safety glasses. But you should use glasses even when you go fly fishing. So now you wanna grab your pliers and you wanna kinda put your skin so you have a lot of it to work with, your hook. And you just wanna cut the part below the barb. So now you just wanna squeeze it. Oh, we got it. Okay, so now that the barb is gone, now you just want to pull it from the way that it came in. And that's how you take a hook out of your arm. All right, now that we're done, I guess we can get rid of the chicken. So now I'm gonna go wash my hands before I talk about the other injuries while going fishing. So now I'll be talking about the different injuries. If you have a minor cut, all you need to do, it's simple. You just need to wash your, your cut with soap and water. So let's say I have a cut on my thumb. I just wanna wash it with soap and water. So then when you clean your hands, all you want is just a band-aid and you just wanna keep your minor cut clean. That's all it is. So now we're gonna talk about the major cuts. So let's say you have a major cut. Like you just took out the hook out of your arm and it's bleeding everywhere. So what you wanna do is you just wanna apply pressure to it. You wanna clean it with some water and soap. Then you just wanna wrap some gauze around it. And then all you have to do is go seek medical attention. There's other injuries you can get while fishing. Some of these are punctures. You can get bites, heat stroke. You can get lightning, hypothermia, dehydration, and sunburn. And I'm gonna be telling you the different ways how to prevent them. So for a, hump, a puncture, you just wanna let it bleed 
and then you want to push it out. Then you want to pull the splinter, and then you want to fire and boil it. And then you want to soap and water, and then you want to bandage it and take it to a doctor. Then for the bites, you want to put ice on it, and then you do not want to scratch it. If it's a if it's stinger, you want to remove it with a knife and do not squeeze. For ticks, you want to close to the squin and use tweezers to pull it gently out. No, don't jerk it or squeeze it. And then you want to use soap and water and watch for the red ring that may appear. And then for heat, you just want to have a cool cloth. You just want to uh, sip water or you want to have you want to sit down in a shady rest or place and you want to remove excess clothing. Or you can lay down in the shade. Then for a sunburn, you just want to get out of the sun and cover with clothes. Damp, make sure they're damp. And then you can also use sunscreen. And then dehydration, you just want to drink water and you don't want to drink, you don't want to wait until you're thirsty. And then for hypothermia, you want to wear appropriate clothes, you want to wear a hat, plenty of energy food, and to prevent fatigue. Prevention is the best. You also want to wear waders, which I'll talk about later. Lightning, you don't want to get out of the, you want to get out of the water as fast as you can. And then you don't want to stand next to a tree and you want to kind of spread out if you're next to anyone and you want to keep you want to keep by lower things near you so that's how you different ways how to prevent different injuries while going on a kite or a fishing trip so guys this is about the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy please like please subscribe and also please share and guys i will see you all in the next video